Hello and welcome to another tip on Maximo. I'm your host Chris Winston from our Project Tech office in Pittsburgh. Today we're going to cover query based reporting and then in the near future we'll have another video out on the Maximo Start Center. If you have requests on topics you'd like to see feel free to send them to media at projectech.com. Query based reporting has been available within Maximo starting with version 7.1.1.4 and is fully integrated into the application. You can design, save, and run the custom reporting all from within the application. Now you can add and remove fields, you can relabel them to your own titles as opposed to the title on, in the application, and you can sort and group within the reports as well as schedule them uh, for a later time and even a recurring delivery. Uh, application reports will follow rules set within Signature Security. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at Maximo. Here we have a pre-run query which has been further filtered. Just to show you that, so we have a select number of records. And what we're going to do is create report. So from the Run Reports dialog you'll see this create a report and there's also a toolbar icon as well. This will give you several options. Uh, first we're going to give it a title we'll make it public and available. Uh, from here we'll go to the select tab which will allow us to choose the fields that are going to be displayed in the report. Pre-selected will be the fields from the list tab. If you have fields that you don't need you can have them removed simply by clicking uh, the icon and for fields that you wish to add there'll be in this case a list of 146 fields on the work order. Um, I don't want to go through them six at a time I'm just going to choose a couple fields, so I'll put in some filtering information to get down to a smaller list. Put in target start, put target finish, and I also want to select an additional field from another portion of Maximo. So I'm going to get the asset serial number. For that I'm going to come over and choose the asset object, which will then give me a list of, in this case, 89 fields on the asset. I want the serial number and I'm just going to again filter on the list to find the serial number and now we have all the fields listed but I'd like to have the serial number a little bit closer to the asset so I'm going to reorder by changing the field order number refresh the list that moves my serial number up I shall rename it And since I want to be able to run this report against other queries other than the one that I have right now, right up here okay, where it says apply the current query and filter from the application, I'm going to deselect this. And that way, whenever I run this report, it will run against whatever the query is. There'll be some types is where you want to uh, keep that, and that'll be optional. And I'll cover that more when we get into uh, the report list portlet as part of the Start Center. And there are additional options for formatting. Uh, you can filter, group, or sort. And then on the submissions tab, which is essentially like the regular report submission tab, you have the choice to run it at a later time or even a recurring time. And then, of course, um, specify who you would send it to. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and run it. Remembering also to make sure that your pop-ups are either not blocked or you're accepting pop-ups from the uh, Maximal site. And here we have the completed report. We've got serial number uh, and of course the serial numbers where they are present as well as the target start and target finish information with the fields that were added. Uh, again, keep in mind uh, this is fully available within Maximo and our next uh, video will be on the Maximo Star Center. Thanks very much.